6 flooded into Hawkins County this weekend to help search for a five-year-old Summer Wells. You're watching News Channel 11 and ABC Dry Cities at 11. I'm Kelly Grossfield. Summer disappeared Tuesday night from her home in the Beach Creek community of Hawkins County. Her parents say she went out of a door in their basement and she hasn't been seen since. Crews estimate they've been searching about 2,400 acres since Tuesday night. Tonight marks night six of searching for summer with daily efforts wrapping up around 8 p.m. each night. But last night they went far beyond that with crews working well into the early morning hours. Now take another look at this photo. This is Summer. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, and stands about three feet tall. Bianca Moray spoke with Summer's father again today, a Father's Day spent without his little girl. Bianca, what did he have to say? Kelly, Father's Day is supposed to be a celebration that families can enjoy. Well, Don Wells, Summer Wells' father, told me he just wants his daughter back. And unfortunately, he told me his wish goes ungranted this evening. I think it's really tough on the on the, all the people out here that are missing Father's Day, and it's putting up, making them a little bit edgy, and we're a little bit edgy. My wife is really edgy, and it's just it's, it's getting tougher, I think, for everybody. Since Summer went missing Tuesday night, Don Wells says the Department of Children's Services has helped their family work through the trauma, but he says Summer's brothers are not doing too well. And they're kind of fighting more than usual and stuff. And I got into it first thing this morning and the, the team come up running up the hill, they heard screams and so I've been trying to keep it down. Summer's siblings aren't the only ones struggling. Her father tells me her mother is also worried about the five-year-old little girl. She's she be frantic. I mean, she's, she's having a hard time. And she'll be okay for a little bit, and then I mean, she's up and down. This Father's Day, Wells tells me his worst fear has been realized. Do you think at this point that she is still alive? I really I don't know. Hopefully, yes. Depending on how bad or what's going on with her, I mean, we hope there's always hope. He told me that law enforcement is still blocking the entrance to their driveway to unauthorized vehicles in the hopes that Summer returns safely. However, he tells me that it is taking a toll on his family and they hope that she is found safe and soon. Reporting live at the Beach Creek community, Bianca Marie, News Channel 11. No sign of five-year-old Summer Wells. Today, crews will continue to search a rural area of Hawkins County. There's now 70 agencies working to find her, some from as far as Alabama. Summer went missing last Tuesday evening. Her father says she may have gone out through the back door of their Hawkins County home. She's not been seen since then. Here's what we know this morning. The TBI has gotten nearly 140 tips in the case, and so far, none have panned out. Authorities say all avenues are under the investigation, and they haven't received credible information to show that the child was abducted. As of this weekend, teams have searched about 1,000 acres, including ponds and creeks. Officials also searched the family's Beach Creek home. Don Wells, Summer's father, says not only has his home been searched, but police have interviewed his family. He says he understands that's what needs to happen in order to find Summer. He told WVLT News he believes the five-year-old was kidnapped. Me, personally, I'm pretty certain that somebody grabbed her and threw her in a car and left the area. In summer, if you can hear me, we all love you so much. When it comes to tips, the TBI says a number of bad ones are slowing down the investigation. The TBI says call if you've seen Summer. Do not call if you've heard a rumor on social media.